Hallo. I hope that I will see chat today. Hello, Robin. Hello, Tyler. Hello, Roxy Mail. Hello, Robbie. So my clock says that it's 10 o'clock p.m. <laughs> here in Slovenia. So hello, Janet. Uh, hello, Angela, Maria. Hello, Linda. So, um, I wasn't feeling well last week, so it's been two weeks since we meet and what is new, we have coronavirus stuff again. Uh, I see that all over the world is some problems again. I hope that it will not be. Hello, Jody. Hello, Patricia. Patricia, New London, Ohio. Oh, you have London in Ohio too. Um, I hope. Hello, Mam Gusien. Hello to UK. How is in UK with with coronavirus? I see that um, in states you have new cases too. So. Uh, I hope that everything will be okay. Maria, uh, you, I hope that you will get your package this week because um, every time I go on post office, um, employees check where can I send packages because some... Um, uh, one time I come and I couldn't send on their site if there are some restrictions to some countries. So I don't know why, how this works. I don't know why some countries has restrictions that I can't send. So um, I hope that everything will be okay because of... I have to write everything, Maria, about this um, pouring medium that I send you. So I hope that everything will be okay. If it will not be, and if they will contact you or something, please contact me and we will try to solve it. I hope that they will not uh, have problems with this mixture that I send you, uh, pour a medium and my... Uh, my pouring medium we will see because on some uh, customs have some problems even with flower shaped cups i send one uh, to one um, in the us and they just lost them i don't know how it's happened but it is so enough of this as I said, I hope that you are all okay and that this coronavirus will, I don't know, it will not disappear, but uh, I don't know, we will have to live with it or something. Uh, so uh, I have few dry paintings that maybe I can show you. Uh, thank you, Susan. Uh, yes, about these cups. Uh, I really... I really don't know what to say. Because um, we don't have problems to get it. But uh, we, we... Here in Slovenia, we, we have them from this, uh, you know, company from Italy. So... It's called Gold Plus. You see? I don't know if you see anything. Similar ones 
but they are not the same. Try to check these gold plus picar uh, gold plus <laughs> comma com. Uh, it's an Italy. Uh, this firm is in Italy, but um, yes, uh, and on eBay. But um, try to to look uh, for them on eBay, not on Amazon, because this one on Amazon are different. They don't have this um, bottom. You see, they don't have this. They are different, and uh, people uh, say that they don't um, I think that on AliExpress or Alibaba or something they I saw them there, so yes, Linda, <laughs> more. Uh, Roxy, you probably bought them before they were sold out because I. Uh, yes, Gina, bottoms are wrong on the king roll ones. So, Raiko will put a link to the this gold plus um, site. Maybe, I don't know, maybe they ship to... This is... Um, Asinaido Pro. Uh, maybe they will ship to states. I don't know. Thanks, Tara. Uh, try to send them, them an email. I, you have to understand. I would love to to send you cups, but I can't send these cups to to. I don't know. I probably get at least 15, 50 request requests. So. Yes, you have. You can, uh, Tish. Um, I, I, I did this. Uh, you know, I cut my bottle bottom, but they are different because they have just and help. You see, just try to get this middle part and cut kind of around. You see, holes, and it. They are similar the effects are similar but not the same uh small yes the uh, tara they are small yes i even thought that maybe i should i don't know try to find company that they will do 3d print uh, cup or something maybe larger one i don't know can PVA glue be added to paint? Yes, you can, but um, I prefer not. Um, some people use glue, but uh, I know that you know that um, I don't like to use it. Yes, they are with the different king roll are different. So uh, they are not like this. So try to go to this site, uh, the Tricoput link, this gold, what is it? Gold plus, gold plus, gold plus. These are the cups that we are get them. And uh, they come in a pack of 25 cups. So. That's why I have them a lot because you know they they are pretty easy to clean. So you see they are just not breaking. They are just so good quality that you can use them all over again. So if you have one <laughs> uh, it's okay but I have them a lot so I can uh, play with it so uh, this is it for the cups again and um, did somebody try to do flower dips with M1 except Gina 
I really want to know if this uh, to use my uh, Bessner binder that I use for my pouring, pouring medium, you, you know already. This stuff, this is my acrylic binder. Uh, and I try to use it like uh, uh, untinted base for a bloom. And I have to say that it worked quite similar. So I just, I'm pretty much sure that uh, if you can buy untinted base for a house paint or something and mix it with this M1 thing that it would, would be pr pretty much the same as my pouring medium. So if somebody can find the, this and try, I would love to know. I can show you one of those blooms. It is correct because I, I have troubles <coughs> with um, uh, house paint for a base, for a pillow. But you see, I did get quite similar result with using uh, with using my um, Bessner binder. So I think that it should be quite similar to the untinted base, I think. And I don't have Australian float roll, so I mix it just with my pouring medium for cell activator and it turned out quite nice. So. Uh, I will do some video about this because I think that um, maybe it will be interesting because I'm using different uh, things. So, uh, what I have, I, I, I don't remember which paintings I show you dry and which one I didn't. I don't have the ones from my last live video because they are sold and one will go to, to Tyler. Um, if you remember uh, cup bottom pours, I just try to show you this iridescent thing. Uh, probably you can't see it, Raiko. You can't see it, but in real is just gorgeous. You see these flames around? This is not varnished yet. This is just dry result. Without a varnish. You see how shiny it is. So I want to show you one thing to show you. This one, what I have that it's dried. This one is dried. Uh, if you remember this one. Yes, they darken up. Yes, Tyler, I agree. Uh, I just can't show you the, all these lines that are still there. Maybe I should turn my camera down. Just a second. Uh, name of my paint. I normally, just a second, I have to turn this around. And now this will again, you know this part that I have problems with all the time. Okay, we are here. <coughs> I mostly use Amsterdam paints and Windsor and Newton and some artist color this this is european brand so maybe this will be better to show you you see all these lines ne ker te bo pa še bolj noter si ali rajko ne ker mi bo see this violet here and i love that one this one is dry oh and uh my Phoenix, 
it has a, a one coat of resin already but you see this one darkened up quite a bit too but it's gorgeous i have to put another layer of resin because i didn't do quite a good job this one is dry uh, and this is the gold and the black the flower of life is dry i just can't show the shimmer oh i can mm -hmm. you see this one is dry and the one that I did with uh, this decor, you know, textile paints. This one is, uh, I did it with the red one, not this one. This metallic paints for fabric. Uh, this one dried okay too. You see how um, vibrant this uh, fabric paint is, it's metallic, but uh, it dried okay. Uh, yes, I use spray varnish, gloss spray varnish when I varnish them, but those are not varnished. I don't know if I show you the dry result of this one, probably not. This one is dried, but not varnished. But it's glossy. So this one is dry. Uh, this one is not dry, but I can show you. This one I didn't put video on because I, when I filmed it, I just have total glare from my window so it will not be okay to publish it but it turned out really beautiful i like it, it has some copper uh, so this, this is this one <coughs> And the one with the frog, but it's not dry yet. My little frog. You see, my little frog is still there. This one isn't dry yet. It's drying and it's gorgeous. I love this painting. I love this pearl white here. Just enough, I think. It will be okay too. I like it that way, probably. But I can't... You see? It has... Um, kind of a movement that probably it's nice to... Oh, and uh, the black and gold one, it's dry too and it's sold too. So, <clears throat> this is the gold and black and white one it's dry but not varnished yet <clears throat> it's just dry i don't know i really like this painting this way and i love this precious gold how could maybe this way you see how this is pebeo iridescent precious gold is just beautiful so this one is dry too but not varnished yet but as you can see that um, all the lines stay like they they were so and this cute emu or something here <laughs> watching you see it he said, I'm here, look at me. <laughs> Thank you, Karen. I love this painting too. So <clears throat> I have this kind of uh, canvas prepared today, 30 by 40 centimeters. And um, just a second, I will have to put you a little higher. 
probably. And I have these rainbow colors, but I didn't decide yet if I want to do a painting in this kind of, um, or maybe it will not. I didn't decide yet. Should I do like I did in this video or should I do it like I did the last one that I did kind of, a, you know, that I lift. What I have here, I just don't see. Which one? I like the frog too. <laughs> uh, the lift. I was uh, I was thinking uh, to do a lift because um, I think that it would look nice with all these colors. You see, I have. Oh, and uh, I will do some jewelry. At the end so I have all these colors ready here and I really think that it could look nice if I do this um, like I did the last one with the frog I don't know Uh, I just um, don't I have to have really the right amount of paint because I have too much paint at the last one and I have a problem. Hiya. <laughs> Ah. I'm just checking my consistency. And of course I have my pearl white ready too. Uh, Albany. <laughs> I are. So how much, uh, I'm just thinking, I just, my cups shouldn't be too full for this kind of a wing. This similar but um, if you don't pour both cups at the same time it you will not get the same result because this paint will flow all over the 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 bottom and when you will start this one so it will flow off your canvas before you will pour another one but if i go to to the side and pour it like this I will not get the same result. So if you try to imagine, if I would pour just like this from the sides, it would be easier. But uh, I will not get the same result. I will not get this feathering thing. Because this, if I pour it this side, it creates this feathering feathering thing so i will have to pour it like this uh i don't know i think yes uroxy that um, you you suggested to do it like this but i will not get the same result so i, I can't do it like this uh i think about it but maybe i will just go more to the side and do it like this I don't know. I don't know how to do. But uh, it worked quite okay last time. At le but I had just too much paint. So I have to be careful. And I want to think about 
with which color I want to to start. I will go with purple first. So, and I will layer just one row of paints, not two. So, this was uh, Amsterdam permanent blue violet, and this one is. Windsor blue and this one is Amsterdam sky blue light or oh, maybe I can shrink you see this no how can I show you the consistency it leaves a little mound but disappears quite you see this is a permanent green light i think and i think that i will throw a little pearl white here just a little bit okay and this one is cadmium yellow lemon hue and Amsterdam vermilion and Windsor and Newton cadmium red hue And this is Vallejo Quonequadon Magenta. I know that this one shouldn't be here in the rainbow, but it will be in my rainbow. I will try to pinch this a little bit. And now the hardest part. This is not easy at all. <laughs> But I hope that it will worth it. So let's start. I will be quiet now. I think that I'm pouring faster with the left hand than you see how different they are. So weird. I didn't expect so much green, I have to say. Uh, 
and I lost all the purple. So weird. And I think that I should pour something around and now I don't have enough paint. I didn't have, I had too much paint on the last one and now I think that I don't have enough paint. Just a second. I should have some black paint laying around. I will just try to add just a little of the black paint here on the corners. And then So this is the tricky part, obviously. Okay. Tricky part. Okay. <laughs> okay. You have to have just enough paint, not too much and not too little. We will see what will happen. I will probably lose all the yellow too. You see? I should have done more of a base. Let's see what will happen. There's too much green. How weird. <clears throat> over this one I don't like this I have totally different picture in my head Maybe I should do just one with all these colors. Like this middle part with this uh, magenta and I don't know. I will wash my hands and do one in the middle because I don't like this at all. <clears throat> Kaya. Yeah. I can't drag the lines now, so I will really do another one just here in the middle and see what will happen because I don't like this and probably I will leave out this magenta. Hmm. I will start with the yellow this time. No. I'm just thinking. <coughs> Let's go from violet. Again. Violet. 
and maybe I will switch this and I will add light blue and Windsor blue and green and the yellow and I will do two layers this time and orange and red and a little of pearl white here and violet again let's see let's play a little bit and sky i hope that i will not get as much green that i did at the previous one and yellow and orange and red okie dokie i will just grab this this one that i used before lift the canvas up just have to wipe my hands. I will just torch this a little bit because I have a lot of air bubbles in it before I will pour. Let's see what will happen this time. I will start here. I poured this way, but I will start this way. So let's see. It will be easier. With just one cup. I will jiggle a little bit. Now I will have just red and yellow and some green coming in here. Where are the other colors? Here they come. Tricky. Oops. I see some blob or something. Here comes the green and the blue. Yeah, I could not touch it. Because um, I will continue pouring because I like this uh, part here. So I don't mind if I will lose some at the, bo at the bottom. So. <clears throat> I will do some jewelry so <laughs> we will use this paint but I really like this I will try to switch my better my lights it's better now Oop. It's 
quite slippery. It will be easier now because I have a lot of paint. I don't want to lose this blue and violet here. I see some something just a second. I have to grab, oh, I should have had my take this out. Where are you? Gdo? <laughs> I don't know where it is. Is it? <clears throat> I hate when this happening. So let's go over this edge a little bit. See, and now I see it. You see how it's ruining my pattern here. Why you don't want to get out? Yeah. I really want to find this thing obviously I will have to have something in instead of my frog in today's sport too so stir some of this red off Oops, and I lost the this part that I liked, so I still don't like it. I just don't know what to do. We'll just stir this a little more because you see some <clears throat> open a little bit. Watch, slisham neck. I don't mind about this part, but you see what's happened in here because I have a chunk of paint totally ruined my pattern and I just couldn't find this to get rid of it I will try to tilt it off maybe I will even ruin everything but it bothers me so much okay it's off i hope that i'm not out of frame i just realized that maybe i'm out of frame like a some not and a little of this red off I 
I don't know, this just didn't turn out as I was hoping. Four. Maybe too much colors for this technique. Maybe I should should do just I don't know one in the middle on the with all these colors because it's just too much color I think paint too much colors I think because I get the I see it you see it has some purple and red and orange and green and a little of yellow too. Okay. Oh. I don't know. Still don't know. Maybe I don't like this <laughs> corner here. Uh, sometimes it's just hard. Uh, I will leave it for now. Maybe I will like it more when it will be dry. I don't know. But we can still try one on the round one on a spinner and see what will happen. You don't let a lot of. I will put this one aside. Okay. And maybe it's time for some jewelry now. So, when I have my drips, uh, just a second, uh, and then I use this, <laughs> Tracy, I forget the word again. Kasha bones, no, I just can't pronounce this. And then I do my, you know, pendants. Uh, so, um, when I dip this and when it's dry, I just glue it with the uh, glue for jewelry on this, uh, you see. Uh, I don't know what this is in English, but um, I need some pearl white first, and I will just try to see where is some something on the yellow. I will just add some or white here and maybe some black on top. Cabochons, yay! Cabochons, cabochons, yay! <laughs> Then I blow and when I watch what is happening, I see if I like something or not. Probably it was not a good idea with the black. Let's do, I will do some purple here on the yellow and red. It's like a bloom, but in the opposite way. You blow colors over, over the pearl white.
know if I like something here. Just too much colors for this probably. Because I'm getting mud. Maybe this could be a nice place to dip my cabochon. Uh, but I'm not quite sure. If you want just to do, you can some of Windsor blue and where's violet and some violet maybe and a little of pearl white again. What should we do on top? Magenta. Let's do it. I will grab a straw because otherwise I will No, this magenta was not a good idea Nothing works today, but you probably see the idea. Just nothing that I like. Sometimes it's just nothing that you like. But I will dip here because I think that this could look nice. Whoops. Okay. Just have to up. And this is how Ooh, it looks you see and you have to dry this and you have your pendant just want to show like something sometimes will you will not I get a little something here so I will dip one more one little one maybe because I like this part here. Yuck. Maybe it's too much white, but I see a little, I don't know, something in here. So, and if you don't like it, you can always wash them off when they are dry you will see how they will look and if you will not like it just put it into the water and they will this uh, paint will just come off just try to figure out if i like something or not Not sure, but I think that I will just did it and if I will not like it, as I said, I can wash it off every time I want. So this how I, this is how I do my jewelry. And now I will clean this up a little bit 
and because my first painting didn't work as I hoped I will do another one I will just grab uh, this bigger and I can use this for some background or even sometimes I even pour it just from the cup but this time I think that I will get just a mud because it's just too much colors in here but I will definitely not wait you can put it on some card or something just you know stretch it like this just try to stretch it on some card or something you see and you can get something nice too you just have to play and experiment and sometimes something nice happens happy accidents you see some beautiful details on my palette knife and you just can you know what I mean or even put it on some other canvas but not today maybe we can do this some other time I have a lot of paint here because I poured twice so I tilted a lot of paint off but if you don't experiment you don't know what will happen uh, that's why but you have to sacrifice some paint sometimes I know it's hard because it's expensive I will just wipe this off a little bit and grab my spinner Raiko daš me eno kluga kan vas prosim da gor na vrh so vidiš and grab my round 12 inch canvas and try to do this rainbow colors okay my round canvas on the spinner <laughs> just want to find a middle just a second here is the middle I will just do this no Raiko don't pour you will pour with me someday Raiko he said that he will okay and okay, tablet I will do three little cups. Oh. Just little ones. No, mm -hmm. Three says I'll start as a quants. Uh, so what I want to have in the middle because 
the last color that I will put into the cup it will be in the middle part because it will flow in the middle mm. Tamo zadi. To? Ne, še jedno mora biti to. Na mesto belga. So I will... Just thinking. Which color should I start with? With which color? Around. I will start with this sky blue. Oop! Where this violet came from. Let's start with sky blue. And violet. And blue. And I will add just a little bit. No, I will not add yellow. Uh, green this time because it takes over so much. I will go with magenta and red and orange and yellow. Whoop. Okay, without the green this time, I will have to, do you see the, yes you can, so, maybe I can pour green around, if I will have to pour it. Hello, Susan. Thank you, Susan. And now I'm just thinking that this one will be almost the same like a phoenix flower, probably. I have similar colors now that I left out the green. Except I had uh, uh, opera rose on that one. Yeah, 
Oh. Uh, Raiko just told me that it's 500 people here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming here in such a big number. I'm really honored to have so many people here watching me play with paint. See how different I layer paints totally exactly the same in all three cups, but you see how different this one turn turning out than other two. Just a little different thing that you do or leave a cup a little longer or I don't know, just a little things makes a big difference. Like in life. Wow, I like this one. This little thing here. Oops! And now we have to figure out what to do with the middle. I will just go with my normal thing with the flowers again obviously I can't do nothing without the flower but I will just try to bring a little more paint maybe more of this blue I just love this and I will leave this part so probably this will be all that I will do <coughs> uh, I think that I have enough paint so I will just spin it Just a little black, maybe, to help it flow a little bit. Just to wet this canvas a little bit. I hope that this part will stay. I don't know about you, but I always have one part, tiny, tiny part of my painting that I I like the most. And I will show you which. I don't know if you see this white. It's not white. Uh, bright uh, purple feathery thing here. I like this part the most right now so let's spin this
I have to figure out if I'm in the frame. You are like a complete. Just a little more. See, this is the part that I liked and it stayed. And now I have to wipe my floor a little bit. <gasps> and I, yeah, so this is like I have to do it just once more because I almost ruined my side. Okay. I really like this part and this feathery thing here. Uh, you will see all these details when I will show you a close-up. I will wipe my hands and now then I will show you a close-up on the both of the paintings, both of my paintings. Little weird day today. I will just bring the, the other painting to the table and then I will show you a close-up of both of them. Just a second. Okay. And now I have to wash my hands again. Probably this art is not for everybody because you are messy all the time. <laughs> if you uh, just okay, so I hope that we will not buffer too much. You see this part here. I just love this and this feather stayed and the flower sorry I shouldn't go so close because colors change I think that this one will look pretty nice too I don't know which way whoop sorry guys and Rainbow over the grass. <laughs> I don't know. I see kind of a grass here and once more. But you see, you can really see all the colors of rainbow. But I don't like the composition. Just didn't have this in my mind. But I will try to do it once more probably with rainbow colors but this one is nice I think uh, I lost some gold on this the third one I don't know you see on the first one that I poured it's uh, yellow a lot of yellow here a little less and here almost nothing weird but that's how it is with these things so who not what that what i was expecting but still we have to do an experiment if we want to see how this will work Thank you, thank you all for coming and you know that uh, I appreciate every one of you 
if you are interested in some of my art, you can email me. Otherwise, I don't know, somebody else will buy it. <laughs> so, this is it for today. And see you on the next one. Bye.